this video we're going to have a look at finding unknown angles um, within right angle triangles. So when we're finding angles we talk about the inverse trig functions. So in the last section we talked about the ratios of sine, cos and tan. This time we're using sine, cos and tan but it's the inverse of those. And they're used to find angles inside the right angle triangles. So for example, if we have sine of theta equals some number, then our angle theta is going to be the inverse sine, and it's indicated by this minus one, so sine of minus one of that number. So for example, if we had sine of theta equals a half, then we can find theta by saying theta is equal to the inverse sine of a half. And we just type this in our calculator and it'll give us an angle um, for, for theta. Similarly, if we've got cos of theta equals some number k, then theta is going to be the inverse of cos of that number. So if cos of theta equals uh, 3 over 2, then theta is going to be cos the inverse 3 over 2, for example. Um, if tan of theta equals um, a constant, then we've also got theta is the inverse of that number. Now, we've also got this um, little asterisk here the number k has to be between minus 1 and 1. So I've actually made this one up. Um, 3 over 2, that's more than 1. So I'm actually just going to swap them around. 2 over 3. 2 over 3. Okay, so it has to be between minus 1 and 1. Alright, so in the last uh, section, as I said, we looked at um, our ratios, our trig ratios, um, and the first step on those was to label the triangle. Now it's just exactly the same method. So first step for finding angles is to label your triangle first. So we've got our opposite side over here, we've got our hypotenuse, and then using our um, trig ratios, the one that has O and H in it is sine. So we say sine of theta equals O over h and then we say well we don't know what sine of theta is um, but o is 1 and h is 2. Now we've got sine of theta equals a half so theta is going to be the inverse sine of a half and if we put that in your calculators um, making sure that our calculators are in degrees, uh, we've got 30 degrees. Um, again, we've got um, a right angle triangle, uh, label your sides. So if theta's here, we've got h, and adjacent is the 1.5. Uh, so the trig ratio that uses a and h, we're looking for cos. So cos theta equals a over h. Uh, we don't know what theta is, so leave it uh, as theta, and a is 1.5, h is 2.5, and we're looking for the angle, so we say theta is cos, inverse of cos, 1.5 over 2.5. And again, we put that in our calculators, and we'll find that it's about 53.13 degrees uh, to two decimal places. Okay, so we're looking at example four. So example four is kind of like an application question. We've got a long straight mine tunnel is, uh, is sunk into the ground. The final depth is 120 metres and the end of the tunnel is 100 metres horizontally from the ground entrance. Uh, we're going to find the angle the tunnel makes with the horizontal theta correct to one decimal place. 
these kind of questions, um, I always encourage to draw a picture. So we've got the ground and the final depth is 120 metres uh, down, straight down basically. So if we draw a line that goes straight down, this is 120 metres. Now it says um, the tunnel is 100 metres horizontally from the ground, so from where it started. So if we started at this little point here, um, and basically from there they've dug a tunnel all the way down and it's 120 metres deep. Alright, so that's where they end up. What we're trying to find uh, is find the angle the tunnel makes with the horizontal. So here's the horizontal, we're trying to find this angle here. Alright, so, um, oh, and we also know that the horizontal is 100 metres across. Alright, so, as I said, these kind of questions are very important that you actually draw a picture to start with. Now, we have a, um, a right angle triangle, which we'll be able to use our trig ratios. So, with our trig ratios, first step is to label, so from theta, We've got our opposite side of 120, adjacent to that is 100, so we're looking for a uh, trig ratio with O and A in it, so we're looking for tan, so if tan theta equals O over A, we're looking for theta, so you leave it as tan theta, 120 over 100. Now, if you're dividing 120 by 100, um, you can simplify the zeros, uh, and then 12 over 10 simplifies down to 6 over 5. So tan theta equals 6 over 5, and theta is going to be the inverse of tan, with 6 over 5 in the brackets, and if we work that out, uh, we'll find that it's about 50.2 degrees. So 50.2 degrees is the angle the tunnel makes with the horizontal.